Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Kim. And we're a band called Matt and Kim. And I play the drums in the band, and Matt plays keyboard and sings. And when did we start? Would you say it was six years ago? Ish. Six-ish Time years has ago. been just flying, flying by and meshing together all at once. But before, I mean, when we started, I just wanted to learn how to play drums. And Matt was in bands and played guitar and bass, but he'd never played keyboard. So we figured the best way to learn was to do it together. And so Kim basically had a friend that gave her pieces of a, a hand-me-down drum set. Like, it wasn't a full drum set. I remember, it was a floor tom for a kick drum. There was... Another floor tom. Another floor tom for a floor tom. <laughs> Crazy, right? And, uh, <laughs> and then there was no snare drum, but, and there was no hi-hat. I guess he just gave you two floor tops. I guess that's what it comes down no, to. No, he ended up giving me a hi-hat stand and a hi -hat cymbal. hi-hat stand and a cymbal that we put on the hi-hat stand, like a crash cymbal. And we just started playing together, and the friend who gave me the hand-me-down drum set forced us to play our first show. And, uh, and, but the thing was, like, that stuff she learned on then, you know, minus, you know, not having a hi-hat and things like that, she has now never had a hi-hat to this point. Even, you know, as many drums and stuff she's had later. So I've been playing a 17-inch K-Custom Dark Crash, but the thing is, is that when I started, when I got my hand-me-down set, I was given an 18-inch Custom Dark Crash and I loved it and we, we loved the sound of it and then one day I cracked it. it we, we saved up, we got a new cymbal and we actually tried a couple cymbals out and it just maybe we went through five different ones and you know we just went there's something about the sound that brought us back to it. And well it, it's also she uses a very minimal kit and she uses that for you know you know, sort of a ride cymbal at times, for a crash cymbal at times, and for like, you know, uses the bell and just uses it in many different ways, and it's just so much more diverse than, um, than a lot of the other cymbals. So influences, it's, you know, a lot of people ask, you know, what other bands, you know, what other musicians are you influenced by, but I feel like for us, it's not even about music, it's just people who are being creative, doing awesome things, and it could be like, it could be music, it could be artists, um, photographers, filmmakers, you know, it's just, you get inspired by people doing cool stuff and you're like, I need to be doing cool stuff and... I think it might be called competitiveness. <laughs> we recorded our album Sidewalks, um, some of it we recorded in Atlanta, and while we were there, we got to go see Jay-Z perform, which was awesome, but his drummer was sick, and he had the... What do you have? Four floor toms going at once, but they weren't floor toms. They were set up as floor toms, but they were kick drums. And I just remember looking at Matt, being like, "I need that." As she's been playing her two-piece drum set for <laughs> however long. Uh, the thing is, while there's many drummers that are, you know, about wrists and technique, Kim is about full arm. Doesn't matter if it's a quiet hit; it is full <laughs> arm hit. She doesn't know what a quiet hit is, actually. So we're just finishing up our Sidewalks tour, which is the name of this tour, being named after our album Sidewalks. It has been an awesome tour. It, it's, I'm going to say it's been our best tour. Without a doubt, it's been our best tour. And so we're actually we're, we're going to be just working on some music and not doing many shows for the next month. And then... Um, and then tell them what we get. And then, well, then, well, in September we go out on tour with Blink-22 and My Chemical Romance. And uh, I think that will definitely be... We're excited about it. it. Seems really fun. We met, like their managers. I don't. Know, whatever. It was. It was. It seems like they're really positive and excited about. As excited about this tour as we are. Well, okay. So we set up this a new phone number for us, so people could call us and we could hear stupid messages that we left, and we could listen to your stupid messages that you want to leave us. So I just want to let you know what the number is. Haven't put it in the old dome yet, but it's a. Uh, it's three four seven. Seven six two. Writing this down. Six three five zero. Um, that again. <laughs> that is three four seven seven six two six three five zero. And yeah, you can call it, and maybe we'll pick it up, or text it, or hear a stupid message, or we've got some really crazy, clearly drunken messages so far. So, so once you're at that point of the night where you think you should stop, either stop, call us, or have another and call us. 
that's like stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's um, and then we put stuff on. You know, if it's really embarrassing, we'll put it on our website. It seems like. <laughs>